In this tutorial, we will cover four essential process management functions in Gain Guardian. Process Pause This pauses the current process in Gain Guardian. Is process paused? Checks if the current process is already paused, returning true if it is, or false otherwise. Process Resume Resumes a paused process, allowing it to continue running. Process kill terminates or kills the current process, stopping it completely. Let us jump into the code and see how these functions work together in a sample script. In the first block of code, we use an if statement along with the functions is process paused and process pause to check the current status of the process and then act based on that status. The function is process paused returns false if the process is running, so using not in front of it makes this condition true. When this condition is met, it means the process is active and we can proceed to pause it. This check is essential because it helps us manage the process efficiently, ensuring that we only pause it if it is currently active. If the process is running, we use process pause function to pause it. This is helpful in situations where we need the process to be inactive to perform certain tasks. Pausing the process can prevent changes or updates from happening while we work with it, making our operations more stable and predictable. After pausing the process, we display an alert to the user with the message. Process paused. Starting search. This gives a clear visual confirmation that the process has been paused and that the next steps, like searching, are about to start. If the process is already paused, we skip the process pause function. Instead, we display an alert stating, the process is already paused. Starting search. This way, the user knows that the process is ready for the next action without any need to pause it again. Note that the process typically refers to the game or application that Game Guardian is currently interacting with. By pausing or resuming this process, we can automate more complex functions and ensure better control over what's happening within the application. This line searches the game's memory for the value 1001, specifying the data type. By finding this specific value, we can locate game elements like scores or health that correspond to it. The next line retrieves the number of memory addresses where 1001 was found and stores it in the variable results. Knowing the count lets us decide what actions to take next, based on how many matches we found. These lines perform a search and store the results count, helping us understand how many instances of the value exist in memory, so we can act accordingly in the script. An alert shows the number of results found by appending the results variable to the message. This keeps the user updated on the outcome of the search. This function resumes the previously paused process, allowing the game or app to run again. After resuming, we display an alert to confirm to the user that the process is active. The last block checks if the number of search results is greater than 20. If so, we assume the results are too broad or inaccurate. 
If more than 20 results were found, we terminate or kill the process to prevent issues or to optimize performance. An alert is shown, notifying the user that the process has been terminated due to too many results. If there are 20 or fewer results, we display a message saying that the process will continue running as the search results are manageable. This block makes a decision based on the number of results found. If the results exceed 20, the script stops the process for safety or efficiency. Otherwise, it allows the process to continue as usual. We have explored how process management functions in Game Guardian can enhance script control and safety. By pausing, resuming, and even killing the process, you can make smarter decisions, prevent errors, and automate tasks more effectively. Properly managing the process ensures smoother script execution and minimizes the risk of unintended changes in the game.